Hey YouTube, is Manny. So we finally did it. We got our hands on one. Very excited for this. We got our hands on the Zotec RTX 3080 Ti Hollow Black Edition. All right, this is actually a little more than I wanted to get. I just wanted a regular 3080, um, but this is like this is one presented itself, and I could tell you a little story about that. So I was I just got home from lunch with my family uh, last sat uh, two Saturdays ago, and um, sat in the couch. I flipped on my cell phone. I was looking through Discord, and I saw that um, Zotech had a drop going that day. So I clicked on the link. Boom! I was fifth in line. Fifth in line. I was like, usually I do those drops, and it's like I'm like six thousand or something like that, because I'm like ten minutes late or something like that. But I must have got it right in time. I, as soon as I sat down, the link must have came in. So I was fifth in line. So went into the Zotech website. All of a sudden, boom! I, I'm browsing. I got you know I see 3060s, 3060 Ti's, but I have a 2070 Super in my my gaming rig right now. So I was like, I didn't want a 3060. I wanted something to boost it. I didn't even want a 3070, uh, which would be a boost, but like not a tremendous amount. So I was like, 3080 was my minimum. Uh, so I saw a 3080 Ti, I saw this one. Um, big bucks. It's a, uh, so, but I didn't pass a scalper, so I'm happy about that. So in this video, we're going to unbox it. We're going to install it. We're going to run some benchmarks. We're going to compare it against my 2070 Super and uh, see see how much better it, it performs, all right? Same, same, we're not changing any of the hardware settings or anything like that other than the video card. So let's get ready for the unboxing. All right, here's the box. This, this, like everyone says, this is a huge, huge box. We're looking at like 44 centimeters by 28 centimeters or 17 inches by 12 inches. This is, this is a, a big boy, all right? So let us start unboxing it. We're gonna basically just open one end over here. Oh, it's in there tight, all right. Box. My wobbly table. All right, get amplified. Zotech Gaming manual. Open it up. There she is. All right, so we got our basically mustard and ca ketchup and mustard cables, right? And then the card itself. All right, so here we have the 3080 Ti. So we're talking uh, the, the Ti has the, uh, what is it, 10,240 CUDA cores. We're looking at 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X uh, memory. Uh, the clock speed's uh, been boosted to 1710. It runs on a PCIe uh, 4X, I'm sorry, PCIe 4.0. And there are three display ports and one HDMI port on this. I believe the power consumption is 350 watts. Uh, we have two 8x pin for the input. Uh, the cooling is there is uh, Zotex. I think it's uh, Ice Storm Technology 2.0. I don't really know much about it, and it's a three-slot card, so two outside, but it takes up an extra one with the the fans. So that's what she has. Uh, RGBs on the front, and I believe RGBs back here. This this is also RGB. Um, this is not RGB and neither is this, but this is RGB here. So, um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to just mount it in the regular, uh, PCI slot. It's so it's going to be side mounted. Uh, we'll see if I need, uh, how much sag there is. It's probably going to be quite a bit. So we'll see about if I need to get a bracket or if I'm going to vertical mount it, um, and get a kit for that. So, okay. Time to install. All right, so I wanted to uh, show you guys, I didn't realize how big my 2070 Super actually was. So this is the 3080 Ti, this is the 2070, uh, 2070 Super. So 2070 is actually pretty big, just as big as the, um, 
uh, 3080. I, like everyone's saying how big the 3080s are when this is like, it, it might be a smidge, a smidge bigger on this end, but for the most part, this is definitely wider. So this will fit in, in a case that's a little narrower where this is actually really, uh, the, the 2070 is really a lot thicker or taller, I should say. So, all right, back to uh, installing. All right, so one thing you're gonna notice is the 2070 Super actually, where these both take up three slots, 2070 Super actually, I gotta remove one of the um, covers. So I gotta go find that. So that we're gonna install it so it makes it look clean. I'll be right back. All right, so there's a little sag here, but not much. They said the 2070 Super was um, just as long, so almost as heavy. All right, let's fire this guy up and see what happens. There's the lights. You can see the lights across here and the lights across the back plate. You get your Zotac gaming. I'll fix the cabling afterwards because it looks like I have to go over. If I go under, I have to reverse the cables around. I'll fix that though afterwards. I'll probably go under again. I don't know. All right, now for the benchmarks. So the first one we went with was uh, Unigen's uh, Super Position. Uh, you can see with uh, 2070 Supers on the left, the 3080 Ti's on the right. I did include the uh, hardware info 64 for the uh, 3080 Ti. I did not grab it for 2070 Super. I don't think it was as important because more or less we want to see what the 3080 is doing. I just included the 2070 Super for uh, comparison because I didn't have anything else to compare it against. The hardware uh, this machine's running is basically it's a Aorus, a Gigabyte Aorus uh, X570 motherboard. It's running a, a Ryzen 9 3900X. It's got 32 gigs of uh, G-Skill Trident Z uh, running at uh, 3600. It's got a Samsung uh, 970 Evo, and none of the hardware is being overclocked right now, including the 38, the graphics cards. So as you can see, um, we have a clear double increase in uh, performance, actually a little bit more than that from the 2070 Super to the 3080 Ti, just from the baseline scores themselves, plus the um, FPSs we get on both. This is actually running, as you can see, a 1080p extreme uh, benchmark test from the uh, superposition. So we get a minimum frame on the 3080 uh, 71, averaging at 92, max hitting 133, but you want to look at the averages anyway. And the um, and you can see the, the one thing we want to pay attention to is our temperatures. You can see where the GPU actually got up to about 73, which isn't bad, and the memory is about 88, with the hotspot being about 97 to 80. I was told the, the thermal pads on this graphics card are terrible, or at least that's what Zotac has been putting in. Um, from some of the other benchmarks I've seen, these are actually really low temperatures. The ambient room temperature rate where I am right now is like 77 to 78 degrees. So I actually plan on changing the thermal pads. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you hit the sub button so you know I uh, post it. All right, so our next benchmark is uh, 3D Mark's Port Royal, which actually, um, Benchmarks, the ray tracing technology, both cards, the 2070 Super and the 3080 Ti both have ray tracing. So you can see here, once again, it's uh, above a um, two times uh, improvement for um, both cards. And you can see like uh, the 2070 Super runs at like for Apex Legend was at 110 plus a frames and the other one is 140. Your graphic scores are 6,000. The other one's almost 13,000. And if we look at our temperatures again, you could see uh, about the same. I think it was 88 previously. Now it's 90 running Port Royal for the memory. And we're 73 for the regular GPU temperature and 80. So the temperatures are about the same uh, for this benchmark as well. All right. So this last benchmark is near and dear to my heart. This is a Division Two benchmark. And this is actually a funny one because the 2070 Super actually outperformed the uh, 3080 Ti. Now, I have... Um, this optimized for my 2070 Super, so that's probably one reason it performed really well. But you'll notice the 3080 only worked half as hard, 56% uh, versus 92, and the temps were a little lower, you know, talking 76 for the memory, 68 and 74. So temps were down, there you have it. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's the benchmarks. Uh, granted, yes, it was gonna outperform the 2070, but 
The card costs over three times as much and only did double the performance improvements. Did I really need a new card? Probably not. I probably should have waited for the 4000s in another year or two, whatever. My 2070 Super did fine. Uh, I will continue to use a 3080. And as I mentioned earlier, I am going to take it out and upgrade the um, thermal pads in it. I'm replacing them, uh, which is a new video coming out soon. I will put links to all the software I use below uh, in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, uh, please hit that like button and uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. I would appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash the subscribe button. You can also hit me up when I'm live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening, starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, YouTube, take it easy.